Hello friends, welcome to a brand new series wherein I play Fallout New Vegas for the very first time. My history with the Fallout franchise is... I don't have an autosave, so that's fine. My history with the Fallout franchise is very limited. I played maybe a quarter of Fallout 3 and maybe about half of Fallout 2 many years ago. So I'm really excited to check this game out. Uh, I kind of have a vague idea of what to expect with this game from playing Fallout 3. But I really don't know what to expect, you know, in terms of plot beats or any of that stuff. Revolting cocktail. <laughs> That's nice. All oh, right, we got those little guys that are like the the droid guy from uh, Borderlands. All right, we got a sniper on the sign. Oh, that's bad. Some interesting uh, sniper elite bullet time. That is a nice coat. And a dead guy. War. War never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Oh, I'm the dead Time guy. To cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? Hmm. I assume this is Mr. House. You made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Alright, I guess the game's over, friends. This has been Fallout New Vegas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. 
sarcasm. Mr. Gutsy model of robot was commissioned by the U.S. Army. All right, great. So what I got from that story is basically uh, I could probably choose to side either with the NCR How about that? or Caesar's Legion. I assume oh, it's not Planet easy of the Apes. Here, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a sec? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Oh, my name. I will be... Hmm, what should we come up with? So original. Ooh, I don't like the mouse sensitivity. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, Good Springs. I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. Hmm. How'd I do? Oh, we got a character creation. Um, well, that is a... Oh, boy. Let's not use that. Uh, I don't want to spend a ton of time on this because this is very much like a, uh, a Skyrim situation here where we're never going to see ourselves anyway. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't... What if we just make him look totally screwed up? Let's do that instead. It's going to be very heavy with a wide face. He's got a seven head that is, oh yeah. I just did brow. Eyes, tiny. Super far apart. Come on. Work with me, game. And they are, oh yeah, way up there. Nose, gigantic. Pointy. Oh, look at that. That's a handsome devil. Mmm. He looks like a an undercover Klingon at this point. <laughs> Mouth. Uh, underbite, of course. With a really small... Like, oh, he's almost, almost bird-like. How, uh, how do we want the cheeks? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, this dude does look like a bird. Kind of want to rename him. Eye color. Oh, I wanted, like, well, I guess dark brown is kind of bird-like. Tone. Ooh, ooh. This like racially insensitive. Um, not flushed. We want him to be like pallor. He is a he's a corpse bird. Blue tint. Yellow tint. Oh yeah, yellow tint for sure. Eye sockets none, please. Is none an option? Unfortunately not. Oh oh, look at those. Those eyebrows are ready to play dodgeball with Ben Stiller. Eyeliner, I ain't seeing a difference. Nose, not seeing a difference. Mustache, it's not really making a difference. All right. Age, yes, all the age. There we go. Facial hair, let's do... <laughs> Oh, oh my. Old Coot. The Gettysburg. Uh, the Comrade. Uh, 
All right, Mephistopheles is, it just has to be what we choose. And we're gonna do, oh yeah, let's make him real ginger. Perfect. It's totally natural hair color. Hairstyle. Uh, let's do... <laughs> Terror sore. Eh. Tunnel snake? That seems crass. That's me. I would like to rename myself now that I've actually, you know, named my character Alex. Seems like a bad decision. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room, over by that bigger tester machine there? Take it slow now. It ain't a race. What am I doing? Use Wasada. Oh, to this thing? Okay. Oh, press caps lock. Oh, I don't like that. Good so far. Okay. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. Vigor tester. You learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. It ain't doing nothing. Oh, all right. I have five points. Okay, so this I've actually thought about what I want to do here. With five points, we are putting them all in two. luck because because it's new vegas i want to be lucky i don't know what's going to happen uh i, I kind of want to change some of these other things though. i at least wanted to max out luck all right agility uh agility seems good intelligence seems good endurance perception all right, All right. I'm gonna be uh, a beached jellyfish. Squinting Newt. I got five points. We're gonna go one into endurance, three into charisma, one into intelligence. Agility would have been nice, but I don't have enough. So screw it. All right. That's us. Look at us. 10 luck, 8 charisma, and a bunch of middling stats. Perfect. With Grab an like object. Yours, I'm surprised them bullets didn't just turn right around and climb back into the gun. Well, we know your vitals are good. Yeah. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in the big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See I thought it said I could, uh... Oh, I can manipulate objects. All right. I was pushing shift instead of uh, instead of Z. All right, we can throw stuff. Ooh, hello. Enough chemical components to create a small quantity of chems. Science of 25. Oh, well, that ain't me, bud. Paperweight. Get, get out of here, paperweight. Oh. Ah. Repair of 25. Blood pack? Medex. Yeah, I'll take that. I don't know about a blood pack. Ooh. Pre war hat. How do I get into my uh, inventory? Destroyed books. Did I see something else? Scorched books. Great. Alright, I'll just go sit on the couch. Whatever. Oh! Oh, I do get to see myself. Alright. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Alright. Dog. Well, I mean, honestly, the first thing I thought of was cat. House. Plant. Okay. Night. Mare. Uh, 
Uh, I guess that would be Dream. Bandit. Actually, I think of Dog, because my first dog was named Bandit. Uh, Bandit, I'm not looking at the screen. The first word that comes to mind when I say, when you say Bandit is Carrot, and I don't know why. Uh, Swiss cheese, kind of close to Carrot. Light. Dark. Mother. Load. All right, jeans, I guess. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. This is so weird. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I strongly agree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Strongly agree. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Strongly disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Agree. Almost done here. <coughs> what do you say you Excuse have me. a look at this? Tell me what you see. A map. Um, all right, well, none of those. A broken chain, a chemical reaction, a shadow in a door frame. Oozing wound or an angry two-headed ant. I mean, honestly, none of them. We're going to go with the ant. Okay. How about this one? A bearskin rug. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. Last one. Two bears high-fiving. No, it's, it's a couple of dancing bears high-fiving for some seals. <sighs> all right, sure. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. <laughs> See if it all I'm just seems doing right. some Freudian psychoanalysis here, but with no real idea of where it's going. All right, um, sure. Energy weapons. Science is high, sneak is high. Yeah, whatever game. I don't know. I don't know what's good. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. All right. You got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of form? your history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Alright. Ah, two traits or none. All weapons have plus three percent chance to critically hit. More quickly, but less accurate. Glasses are good. Minus five energy weapon seems bad. I mean, it has to be this, right? And let's do trigger discipline. Slower, but more accurate. We can use some VATS bonuses, I assume, to get that accuracy, like, to be really efficient. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you off. All right, let's move. <laughs> Please give me pants. Um, I, uh, I don't know if I should have taken that wild wasteland. That sounds like a silly, very silly thing. But, um, I mean, it also kind of made sense to me. And I think I kind of have sort of high science, right? So can I do anything with that, uh... Oh. Oh. All right. We got stim packs. Holy cow, this guy's loaded. I don't really care about that. I want to... Ah, here's the science thing. Create some stim packs. Dope. What's that? Nope. I don't want that. Alright. How do I get into my actual inventory? Not sure how to get in my inventory. Uh, hello? 
Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults nice. made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. Sunny Smiles. She can smiles. help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Thanks, Doc. I try not to get killed anymore. Uh, new hardcore mode increases the challenge. No, it's my first time playing it. We're just going to leave it as is. Ain't that a kick in the head. All right. So we got to repair our weapons. So it feels a little, uh, structurally, a little... Oh, that's so bright. A little more windy in terms of weapon repair. Now, can I get into my inventory, please? How? Ah, tab. Okay. I've been hitting tab this whole time, but I think you couldn't do it while you were in that house. All right. Uh, that's a lot of information I don't feel like reading. So we'll equip that laser pistol. All right. Yep. More stuff I don't want to read. Put on this hat. We got 12 stim packs, some bobby pins, and some energy cells. Yep, whatever. Are you the metal fella? Oh. Sure, we'll just take everything. You the guy who helped me? Howdy, partner. Might I say you're oh, my goodness. Fit as a fiddle? Thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Do you know who those men were who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. The rascals. Some fine folks in town not this is so charming. With that. Goodbye. Happy trails. <laughs> I really don't need his life story. I feel like I should probably read that magazine, right? Or am I just doing way too much uh, Seven Days to Die? Nope, I think I just read it. I keep wanting to run faster by hitting shift because of seven days to die, and it actually slows me down. Drop boxes can be delivered items to Mojave Express. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Send and receive items. Neat. Good Springs General Store. Don't steal stuff. Hey, dude. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. I bet. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. Show me what you have for sale. Candy. I've got 18. So, what is Gamora? Five of Diamonds Ultra Lux? Why would I buy cards? Like, individual cards. It's kind of weird. Well, I don't really know what any of these items do, but I feel like I probably don't need a Nuka-Cola truck. The medical brace, I don't know if you can actually use it. It doesn't look like it, so I'm just going to sell that. A tin can? Sure, you can have a tin can. Except. Thanks, dude. Pleasure doing business with you. Do you know anything about the people? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. Great cons. He had a bunch of great cons with him. Probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest on account of them being enemies with the NCR. All right. Take I like your picture frame. Very stylish. 
fire hose box. And you just have a fridge back here. Alright. Later, buddy. What is this? Reloading bench? Workbench. Well, I can't do anything with it, so never mind. Alright. Prospector salute. Ooh, can I get me one of them? Easy Pete. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Do you know anything about the people who was The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. And I could tell that as too, dude. As much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. All right. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Good to know. Thanks, Easy Pete. How do I put my gun away? Oh, okay, R. So friends, in case you haven't figured this out yet, this is going to be a long play. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Hi, Sunny Smiles. I can see why you're called that. Prim? Um, you know what? How about just give me money? This one. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. All right. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Thanks. You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Thank you. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Appreciate it. I don't really want you to teach me to survive in the desert right now. Until now. I want to go do something. Hey, doggo. Oh, that book I read apparently wore off, so you just use it in the moment. Sorry to kick your glass, lady. Steal a plunger. A Braxo cleaner. And, uh... Wow, this one's in much better shape. I mean, I guess she's the only one here, so... That kind of checks out. Oh, she's not the only one here. If you're looking for supplies, Chet over at the general store can help you out. Yeah, alright, so this is all thieving, and I'd rather not thieving. Whiskey, purified water. Ooh, hello, terminal. I'll worry about this some other time. Salesman Weekly? So the magazines are like a temporary boost, it seems. Alright, where's the schoolhouse? Uh, how do I do things in this game? <laughs> Data. Uh, quests. Nope. Local map. Where is the schoolhouse? Mitchell's house. Saloon. Where? I still don't see. Nope. Still do not see the schoolhouse. At all. I mean, I guess I could just wander, right? That might be fun. Let's see what's out here in this world. Let's go, uh... Let's go up to that tower. To point of interest. And I'm interested. Can I harvest this? No. Your gunfire. Alright, let's go up top and then we'll explore that house on the way back. Can I not move faster? This is running? It's so slow. Pile of rocks. Couple of birds. Oh, this is the cemetery. Hey, Vic. What's with that bird? 
Oh! Wow. Okay. I obliterated it. Keep out. We got anything over here? Some bottles. What is that? I guess we'll find out eventually. Is there a way up this thing? Keep out this way, too. So that must... You... Oh, yeah, let's change our name. Um... Corvid. Because I'm as bird-like as possible. Alright. I don't want to go that way yet. I think there's other stuff to check out. I don't see anything. I won't call this a pretty looking game, because it's not. But um, considering its age, it actually does not look too bad. I'm a big Skyrim guy, but this is, I mean, obviously it's Bethesda, but it's got its own certain rustic charm. We got a bucket that we can't interact with. Banana yuck. All right. What's this place? Boarded up. Totally boarded up. Can't do anything. I really want to move faster. There is a horrifying monster right over there. Let's go this way. Or maybe it's just a cow. Like a radiated cow? I don't know, that seems kind of familiar from Fallout 3. I can't get in there. Awesome. Points of limited interest. Was she gonna tell me where that schoolhouse was? I thought she was gonna be a little bit more helpful. Can I get in this thing? Can. I could sleep. I can look in the empty metal box. Oh, all right. Take. I don't really need an empty bottle. Sensor module. All right. What's up, cow? Big Horner. Okay, so V is VATS. Just making sure. Not actually... Oh, no. Exit. I'm not actually going to shoot the cow. I just wanted to make sure. Sure. Is this the saloon again? All right. Let's see, maybe she can teach me how to survive. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Hey, lady. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Just a little. Could you teach me how to survive? Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. What did they done to me? All right, let's put that away. I mean, I could steal stuff, but I don't want to. I want to be a good boy. Oh, hey. Is this a tumbleweed? There's an actual tumbleweed that you can move around. I want to play tumbleweed soccer. Is there a mod for that? <laughs> Whoa. All right, just, just, all right, all right, all right. Now. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? I do. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Okay. Good shot. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Thanks. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. Okay. Yeah. 
I kind of don't want to use my energy pistol more than I have to. Because I feel like that's got to be stronger than a varmint rifle, right? What's up, dog? What's wrong with my hands? Oh, right, I'm, like, completely pallor. That's actually kind of annoying how much my hands glow. Hey, Pooch. Don't mind me, I'm just following Sunny Smiles wherever she goes. <laughs> she got stuck on the dog. You going this way? Can I get up on there and shoot down on them? Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. All right. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Crouch and sneak. Okay, way out there. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Oh, now? I got a 21% chance. Let's try to get a little closer. I actually really wanted to get up there. Hmm. I'm detected? Already? Oh, am I just detected by Sunny? I'm hidden. Alright. No, I don't want to hit. I'm trying to cycle through targets. Uh, exit. Oh! Y'all really close. Headshot. Shot. I don't have enough AP. Great. I got one of them. Alright. That didn't go great. Didn't stand up in time, honestly. Take that. I will take that. Any more? Doesn't seem like it. Have a little sippy. Some buckets. Alright, not much else going on, just those two geckos. But I lost Sunny. Where'd she go? Sunny? You just leave me out here in the desert? Dude, where did she go? Oh. Hop on the dog. See? You're getting the hang of it. I sure am. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. Why not? Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. 60 rounds. Come with me. Thank you. Where are we going? This way? No. No. Okay. Stop. Oh, there they are. Terrible shot. Right, he's got that one. How's our aim on this guy? 54? 80 on the foreleg? I mean, uh, what do we got here? Yeah, that one. Do it. Alright. Not bad. I kind of wanted to cripple the thing, but no such luck. Oh, 
Well, now where'd she go? Where'd she go? She really has a tendency to just vanish. Is she shooting or is it? Yep, where did you go? What are you doing? Why didn't you wait for me? So this is why in Bethesda games such as Skyrim, I make it a point to never have companions. Oh, it's a settler. All right, so she's fighting. I don't like the disabling of vats. It's really challenging. There's not too many. You're fine. We literally killed them all. Anyway, I don't like followers in these games because I find them stupid and annoying. Johnny Guitar? Alright. Go talk to her about our reward. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Sure did. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. I still don't know where the schoolhouse is, so about that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna assume it's those two little empty triangles on my radar. I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Let's not actually assume that, now that I've said that out loud. Find that. Alright, so maybe it is the f flashing triangles. Or, they're not even triangles, what are those? Just weird flashing markers. Some enemies here? Is that what the red is? Oh, we got a coyote. Don't want to get killed by dogs. Or, frankly, by anything, but. How's my aim? 39 is not great. We'll just leave them be. Unless I can get up here and get a good shot from this little ridge. Looks like they can just run right up this ridge. Yeah, let's... Let's ignore them. I'm trying to go this way. It's flashing between hidden and detected. All right, so the one I'm going to is this cemetery I've already discovered, which means that that over there must be the schoolhouse. Okay. Get, get, get over the rock. Get, jump. There we go. Another coyote up there. Well, it's pretty desolate. Music's good for setting the mood, for sure. I hope there's something I could do to increase my movement speed at some point, because this is painful. What? Oh, bad. 
<laughs> bad, bad. I'm gonna get dead. Victor? 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 Oh, good. Oh, my health is low? I didn't even notice. Alright, yep, yep, yep. I want to use a stim pack. A couple of stim packs. And I would like to change to a useful weapon. And my leg is busted. Nice. How is my, um... Dude, what am I supposed to do about this? I, I barely scratched this thing. It's so heavily armored. And I'm almost dead again. Can you just be stuck, please? Maybe the robot can help me out? I can't jump. Alright. Well, that's not going well. Is this another one or is this the same one? This is a different one. Nice. That was good. I got one XP for that. Nothing in the ash pile. That thing is nasty. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that other than, like, run away, but I can't... I can barely run. Can I get it caught on the fence? Fifty-five? I'll take a shot at it. I think I missed. Get stuck, please. Nope. Nope. I can't jump again. Yep, come on back. There we go. Dude, you've got so much health. This is ridiculous. Alright, you just hang out there, I guess. I'm looking for flowers. Should I be hitting the stinger? Is that the goal? I am not sure if I hit that at all. Alright, where's this flower I want to get? Those are empty bottles. Oh, he's coming. He coming. He going. Uh, nope. Bad. Do I want to hit his claw? That did not seem to make much difference. <laughs> well, at least I can, I can dummy him here a little bit. Let's switch back to this since we're having some luck just kiting him back and forth. Where's this stupid flower I'm looking for? What is that? Okay. I'm trying to hit him in the leg. Well, I guess we'll go this way. Oh, he's coming around. Is this what I want? That is not what I want. Dude, what am I looking for? 
this. Need a shovel. What? Where is he? Kind of lost him, which is actually kind of scary. Well, maybe he just fell. Maybe he didn't. He's right there. What is that? Rare pre-war artifact. Useless baubles. All right. Where's this stupid flower I'm looking for? I don't understand. This? That's not it. Th that dude's just doing his own thing, which is fine. I don't get it. I don't understand what I'm even looking for. What is that? Cactus fruit. These are just plants. What is this glowy thing? Oh, is this where they buried me? Don't make that scary noise. Oh, make that scary noise. You gotta warn me about this stuff. Alright, so the body's real thick. I guess I could try the stinger. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Run away. It's like, I'm a butt. Oh, come on. I'm gonna die. Oh, yeah. I'm dead. <laughs> Oh, oh, I died spectacularly. But the hat stayed on. That's important. Great. Wait, what are you shooting? Oh, it's here now. Good. It came to me to kill me. Really appreciate that. It'd be nice if I could cripple this stupid thing. Did you just kill Sunny? She was gonna teach me stuff. Ghost Town gunfight. These things will not die. If I get up in here. Nope. Am I leading this whole town to its death? Alright, it's a little bit like Dead Island where they don't know what to do once they're once you're up on a car. Come on. I got two shots left. I, I have emptied all of my shots on this stupid thing and I cannot kill it. And I don't have my varmint rifle anymore. Because I died. Can someone else kill this thing? Click, click. I don't got nothing. Yeah, this one's also empty. Alright, finish it off, Pete. Thanks, dude. Wait, is it dead? Yes. Oh, that was miserable. Good job, Pete. Howdy. Goodbye. Yep. <laughs> Those things have way too much HP for the starting area. Did Sunny die over here? Oh no. Dog died? She's just gone. I'm sorry about your dog. Oh. Hmm. Well, this is all going really well so far. Uh, let's, uh, you over there. 
So I guess I probably don't have to find that flower anymore. Uh, <laughs> that all seems bad. Let's put that on. Oh yeah, look at me now. Nice. Very nice. Except for, you know, everyone dying because of this stupid scorpion that wouldn't die. I've got eight bullets. I gotta see if this guy's got anything for sale. You looking to buy some supplies? Yeah. Do you have anything that can um, revive Sunny? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be. All right. What do you got for sale? His eyes glow in the dark, and it's scary. You can have these cigarettes. I actually don't want to eat dog meat. Here, have a second laser pistol. And, uh, sure. Those don't seem to do anything. You can have a toy car. And this jumpsuit. Or do I want to keep the jumpsuit because of the uh, speech bonus? Yeah, probably not. Whatever. I need this. No. Wait. Yeah, that's what I need. Just making sure. Give me those. All of them. All right. Thanks. You bet. Um, I don't think Sonny was supposed to die. That seemed really, actually, kind of unfair and horrible. I'm not going to restart because I really don't know, but I feel like that was not supposed to happen. Is this the schoolhouse? It's got a flag. Nope, that's the doc's house. All right. I'm guessing the gas station is not the schoolhouse. Yeah, that that red scorpion was uh, serious business. Oh, thank you. Let's check out the gas station. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Mm, nothing. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's Ringo. All. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a... F no. Yeah. I don't know anything about Caravan, and I kind of don't want to. I will take that. All right. You just don't mind me taking all your supplies? I mean, that's cool with me, bud. Oh, you can't take the bullets. You're fine with me taking the money? Oh, hello. 25? I ain't got that. Sure. Braxo cleaner. Flour? What am I supposed to do with flour? Magazine? Sure, let, you know what, let's just grab pretty much everything. Empty. Yeast? You know what, now that I got yeast, I have to get the flour, sorry. Where's that at? You flour? Yeah, give me that. Alright, um, later dude. Well, now that Sonny's dead, and I didn't even find what the flower was that they wanted me to pick up, I kind of feel like I don't know what to do. Feel a little, uh, a little directionless. Got some, some of these cows hanging out. 
Oh, she's she's still in the corner there. All right, let's not go down that road. Poor dog. Now, is the stealing in this game like in Skyrim, where if nobody see, that's really startled me. I forgot it was there. <laughs> Is it like Skyrim, where if I steal something and nobody sees it, it's quote-unquote fine? Or, uh, not so much. Like, do I have, uh, penalties for stealing even when no one's around? I don't know. Can we go in this house? No, oh, we can. Anybody home? I'm hidden. Hammer and a pencil. I'm gonna steal your pilot light. I don't know why. Pork and beans and scotch. Great. Seven bottle caps. A teddy bear. A BB gun. Some drugs. Nothing. Take that. Sight unseen accidentally. And let's get out of here. So we got the general goods store. Is that the schoolhouse? That looks like a schoolhouse. Let's go there. Tree fell down. That is clear. Schoolhouse? Schoolhouse. Nice. All right. Let's see what's in this horrific place. A mantis nymph. Great. Done. Another one. really want to hit it in the legs. There we go. Cool. Oh, there's more. Oh, they fly weird. There we go. Gross. It must be all of them because I am hidden again. Empty footlocker. Toolbox. Sure. Some terminals are protected. You need a password. Correct password. Four tries. Okay. Is this like in Fallout 3? Sure is. Okay. Useless. So one of my seven letters was correct. That doesn't tell me much. Let's see. There we go. There's only one letter that lined up there, and that was the the second E in meeting. Disengage lock. Oh, that must be for the safe. Can I click the power button? I can. That's cool. What is that? A bobby pin. This... Well, alright. I was going to say this didn't seem worth it, but that's not that bad. 
far as I can tell. Cherry bomb. Detergent. Empty bottle. Tin can. Another bobby pin. A lot of bobby pins around. You kind of float a little bit when you jump, which is sort of interesting. Do I have a flashlight? It's so dark. I don't care about that stuff. Oh. Somebody's gonna buy the legs of the mantis? Creepy and gross. They might be despawning because I'm only seeing a couple here. Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe it's just hard to see because it's so dark in this place. What is that? A rock. Great. School desk. School desk. Programmer's Digest. Some toys. Baseball glove. Salesman book. Another hammer. Alright, well, I definitely handled the schoolhouse better than I handled the stupid scorpion up there. Still a little unclear on what I was supposed to pick from here, though, flower-wise. These are just little bushes. This is a big bush. Oh, these? What is that? Nope, that's a jalapeno. Great. I got two jalapenos. Yeah, I don't really get it. Nothing I can pick there. What's up, Vic? Howdy. You have a shack. You have a fission battery. You have two. Some ammunition. Paperweight. Empty desk. Weapon repair kit seems useful. Sorry about your globe. I don't want to sit on your couch. No, nothing personal. Scrap metal seems useful, potentially. Coffee pot, coffee mug. 30 energy cells. Where were you when I was about to die? Dude, it is so dark in this game. I hope the video comes through well. If it's too dark and there's a way for me to make it brighter or have a flashlight mod or something like that, let me know and I will try to figure it out like how to get it to work because I do want this to be something that's watchable but man it is dark in some of these buildings so far actually all of the buildings can I pick these I could but it's stealing all right let's go unload at the uh, general store place and um probably call it for this episode. I I wish I could say it was a success, but I feel more lost now than I did when I started. My guide for the tutorial died. I mean, uh, what kind of luck is that? When you're you can't even get through the tutorial without the character dying. Like that's kind of ridiculous. Hey dude. You looking to buy some supplies? Actually, I'm looking to sell you some supplies. Can't I don't know. I feel like a Braxo cleaner is used for something. I feel like BBs are useless. 
so you can have this and all of them. Yep. Baseball glove feels useless to me. That's cool, but I, I never like doing drugs in these sorts of games. I don't know what the cherry bomb is going to do. Empty bottle seems useless. Sell you that. I don't really want whiskey. Those seem useless as well. You know, just take that. That's fine. I feel like scrap metal is going to be important, but I just want to get the weight out of my inventory. Turpentine, I'll keep that because that seems important. And whiskey, and I'll keep the yeast. You got anything? Anything useful? A shovel? I could buy a shovel and go dig up some graves. Let's do that. That sounds fun. Let's actually do that before we end this episode. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Yep. Take it easy. Yep. Uh, did you hear about Sunny dying? I, I, uh, I just heard it was a horrible tragedy. I have no idea how it happened. Yep. Bye. All right, we're going to go dig up some graves. Jeez. Oh, I feel really bad about that. <laughs> we're going to dig up some... God, there's just one dead body after another. Hopefully this other scorpion is gone so we can actually dig up these graves or I just spent money on a shovel for nothing. Please no scorpion. Yep, no scorpion. All right, nine bullets for a gun I don't have. Verl, can't check that out. Can't, nine more, or seven more bullets. Mr. Arhorn. Uh, I had to get it again. I'm not sure what that says. I think Mr. Arhorn was the teacher, right? That's where I was going to be. Some cans. And cans. Cans. Alright, well, we got a few bullets out of grave robbing. Oh, maybe we didn't do this one yet. I don't know what LR means. I'm going to assume that means long range for a sniper rifle. 12 gauge. Interesting. Is that me breathing like that? Get out. I'm still unable to find whatever it was I was supposed to find up here. Which kind of sucks, honestly. I don't know what I was looking for. It's getting late. It is pretty lame that I died and then the scorpion spawned over in the town with me. I'm looking to see if I have any kind of like a bag that has my initial rifle or anything, but it doesn't look like it. I also don't really know where I, that my body fell because it rolled so much. So that's unfortunate. 
And, uh, like I said, I couldn't even find what I was looking for up there. I just brought death upon this town. For no real benefit. So, maybe next time we play, we will get over to that crucifix that's out there in the distance. In the meantime, I guess I should call it for this episode. Friends, if you enjoyed this episode... Stupid thing. If you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. It's YouTube. We always do the same thing on YouTube, which is we give little thumbs up to show our appreciation for things that we like. As always, be kind to yourselves. Be kind to each other. I'm going to see if this house is vacant so I can go to sleep in that bed. It appears to be vacant. Sleep. I would like to sleep until morning. That would be lots of hours. That many. And we will see you Sunday, October 20th, 1981, in the next episode.